Let's see if we can take everything we've learned about place value and do some more um, number comparisons. So what would what would you say if I asked you which is smaller? So I want to know which is smaller. This number, and I'm not saying it because it might give you clues, and I encourage you to say it yourself. This number, or this, or this number. Which is smaller? Well, let's let's draw it out and see if we can um, get a, get a sense of it, or maybe you remember what I told you in the last video. So, it, first of all, let's let's look at the ones place. I'll start kind of in the non-intuitive way. So here we have two ones, and I could draw them. Just as you know, two marbles, two marbles here. Here we have five marbles in the ones place. Two, three, four, five. In the tens place here, we have two cans of ten marbles. Going back to our original analogy, so this is one can of ten. That's another can of ten. I'll draw the marbles in in a second. Here we have five. One, two. Three. And I'm trying to draw it to scale now, just to give you more intuition. Four, five, and let me fill them up with marbles. So there's marbles in all of these, right? Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, and here you have ten, twenty. And then in both cases, in the hundreds place, we have the number three, the digit three, and that tells us we have three canisters of a hundred. You could kind of, say, or three hundred marbles. And so those those are much bigger. Those are like, you know, each of those canisters are going to be ten times the size of that. So it's going to be like that, like that. Probably even bigger, but I don't have space to draw it that big. That, like that, and like that. And I could draw in the marbles, but you know, just so you get the point. It's filled with marbles. Filled with marbles. So just so you realize, so this is 300. So they have three cans of 100, or 300. This also is 300. Here you have five cans of 10, or 50. Here you have two cans of 10, or 20. Let me draw a dividing line to make sure we don't get the two numbers confused. And here we have two ones, or just two. And here you have five ones, or just five. So this is 300 plus 50 plus 2. This is 300 plus 20 plus 5. Now in the last video I said you know you should just focus on the largest place. In this case it was a hundred. It was hundreds place. But when we compare them, we have three huge canisters here, 300 marbles. But we also have three huge canisters here. So it actually has the same number of hundreds. So when we when if those are equal, then let, you got to move on to the next largest place. So now we look at the the buckets of 10. Well, here we have five buckets of 10, and here we have two buckets of 10. So clearly we have more buckets with the same number of hundreds, but we have a lot more buckets of 10 here than we have here. So this number, is the 352, or 352, is a larger number than 325. Or we could say that 325 is the smaller number. And if you just take the threes away, you know that 52 is larger than 25. And how do you know that? Because the largest place value, the 5, that represents 50, the value of 50. While this 2 represents a value of 20, right? And they both have 300 added to this, but those are equal. Let's do, let's do more interesting problems. So I'm going to write two numbers. So let, let me just. Let's say I have I have this. Seven is blank. So the digits here seven zero three one is blank. Then seven three zero one. And I want you to say either greater than or I want you to say greater or less. Well, let's let's do what we did before. And I don't think I have to draw the buckets this time. You go to the largest place value. And this is ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. So in the thousands place, we have 7,000 here. That's 7,000. And we also have 7,000 here. So in the thousands place, they're equal. So let's go to the next largest place. In the hundreds place, we have zero hundred. 
while here we have three hundreds. So we immediately know, we actually don't even have to look at the rest of the numbers. We really know that you know, since in the largest place value they were equal, but in the next largest, the hundred space, 300 is a lot more than 0, 100. So we immediately know that this number is a larger number than this. And that makes sense. 7,300 and something is larger than 7,031, because 301 is larger than 31. So 731 is less than 7,301. Let's do another one. Say I had this number. 8004 is blank. That should be a dan like that, not then. Blank then 8040. Just like we did last time, the thousands place. We have 8,000. We have 8,000 here. We have 0, 100. 0, 100. We have 0, 10. Let me do that. In, well, I did that in the hundreds color, but you get it. And then we have 4. 4 ones, which is just 4. Here, we also have 0, 100. 0, 100. But in the tens place, what do we have? We actually have 4 tens. 4 tens. So what do you say? You say, well, you go in the largest. They both have 8,000s. They both have 0, hundreds. But in the tens place, this number has more tens. So it doesn't matter what happens in the ones place, because the tens is a bigger is is a larger place. So this is once again the number on the right is a larger number. So we would write less. Eight thousand and four is less than eight thousand and forty. Or you could say, well, four is definitely less than forty, so eight thousand and four is less than eight thousand and forty. Let's do one more like this. And I'll switch colors arbitrarily. So three, seven, five, six is blank. Then three, five, seven, six. And it's interesting because these two numbers, they're just we just switched the seven and the five. So which one's bigger? Just like we did the last few times. Look at the thousands place. That's three thousand. That's three thousand. They're equal in the thousands place. Then let's go to the hundreds place. 700 versus what? 500. Well, 700 is definitely greater than 500. So this whole number, it doesn't even matter what's over here. This number is greater than this number. This is 3,756. This is 3,500. 76. And you think about it rough terms, 3,700 is larger than 3,500. With that, I think that's enough of that type of problem. Let's, let's do a, even another twist on it. Let's say I give you three numbers. I don't want to read out the numbers, just because that might give you a clue. So what I want to know is what is the largest, or what, which of these three numbers is the greatest? Well, once again, you go to the largest place value. And all of these are four-digit numbers. This is ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. Let's go to the thousands place. So this is 5,000. right? That 5 represents 5,000. This represents 4,000. This 4. This 4 represents 4,000. So this number here has the most thousands. So this is going to be the largest number. So this is the winner for largest. So what's the smallest number? Well, these have the same in the thousands place. In the hundreds place, that's 900. That's also 900. And they get different in the tens place. This is 80, while this is 70. So this is larger than this. 80 is larger than 70. So this is the smallest number, because it's definitely smaller than this one, and it's smaller than this one as well. So this is the smallest, smallest. So let, me, let me ask you some thinking questions. What is the smallest three-digit number? Well, one way to think about it is, what is the largest two-digit number? You know the two digits. You know the, you go one and you go. You keep adding and you go to nine. And then what's after nine? You go to ten. 
10 is the first two-digit number. So that's the smallest two-digit number. And then you keep counting. You go 11, 12. You know, you keep going. You go 20. This means just you keep going. 20, 30, 40, 50. And you know, there's numbers in between, right? 60, 70, 80, 90. And then you go 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 97, 98. We're still doing two-digit numbers. All of these are two-digit numbers. But what's the number after 99? As we said, you add one more. So then you have another 10. But then you have 10 tens. So you actually have 100. So the first three-digit number is 100. And so far, and so, so that is the smallest three-digit number. So what's the largest three-digit number? Well, we're going to keep adding. We're going to keep adding. Until we have to go, so what's the first what's the first four digit number? The first four digit number is this. The smallest four digit number is one thousand, right? So the largest three digit number is going to be it has to be one smaller than the smallest four digit number. I'm probably confusing you. So what's one less than this? Well, you might have guessed the pattern, right? One less than a hundred is ninety nine, or ninety nine plus one is a hundred. So if you go one less than a thousand, you're at 999. So this is the largest, the largest three-digit number. And so you know, I would encourage you to think about what happens when you add one here. You not only get another 10, but then you have 10 tens. So then you actually have another 100. And then you have 10 hundreds, so then you have 1,000. Let's do a couple more. Let's just, let's just keep going. What is? The smallest, well, actually, I already figured it out. What is the smallest? I'm looking at this, this, this Singapore math book. It says, what is the smallest four digit number? Well, I already told you it's 1,000. That's the first four digit number. And then you can think of the pattern. What is the greatest four digit number? Well, the greatest four digit number is the number where I have, where I have the highest digit in every place. So, what's the highest digit that I can put in every place? Well, nine, right? So, I'd put a nine, a nine, a nine, and a nine. In general, if I say, what's the largest three-digit number? Well, I have to put the largest digit in each place, so it's 999, nine, nine, just like we figured out before. Now let's, let's do some number ordering. So let's say we, we had these numbers, and I wanted to order them. 3,412, 3,142, 3,142. 4,123, 2,431. And I want to start with the largest of these numbers. So which is the largest? Let's look at the largest place value. 3,000, 3,000, 4,000, 2,000. So this is the largest, right? Because it's got 4,000s. So 4,123 is the largest. Cross it out. What's the next largest? Well, I can already tell you what the smallest is, right? 3,000, 3,000. 2,000. This is the smallest. We could put that there. 2,431. And so we have to figure out, what's the largest between these two? Well, this is 3,400, right? 3,400. Well, this is 3,100. So this is bigger than this, right? 400 trumps 100. So this is 3,412. And then 3,142. And that's our order. From largest to smallest. What if I gave you these numbers? Let's say 1,892, 9,003. And I encourage you to pause the video, try it yourself, and then check your answer with what I did. Maybe you can find careless mistakes that I made. So, what's the largest? Well, let's order these from smallest to largest. So this we did from largest to smallest. Let's go the other way. Let's go from smallest to largest. So what's the smallest of these numbers? So you might be tempted to you know, say, well, we have 1,000, 9,000. Let me do them in the thousands colors. 1,000, 9,000, 1,000. And you might, if you're not careful, say 9,000. But look carefully. This isn't a 9,000. What's the place here? This is the hundreds place. This is 900. This, this number actually doesn't even have a thousands place, right? The thousands place would be here, where there's a blank here. You, you wouldn't put a zero before the number there. So actually, 
you know, this has 1,000, this has 9,000, this has 1,000, this has zero thousands. So this is the smallest number right here. It only has three digits. So the smallest number is 913. You can scratch that out. What's the next smallest? Well, we have 1,000, 9,000, 1,000. This is the biggest, right? 9,000. So we could put that here, 9,003. And so this is 1,800. This is 1,700. So 700 is smaller than 800. So this is the next smallest after 913, 1,703. And then you have 1,892. And then, of course, 9,003. I think that's good for now. I will see you in the next video. I don't want to make these too long. See you soon.